hello friends welcome to my channel as you all know that I've been working on few projects every month so I wanted to start a new painting project I came to get a required stationery and look at this cluster every time it's like this to put stop to this monstrosity I got an idea actually it's not mine I was inspired from an, a creative youtuber she did this with a foam board but uh, I wanted to do with the leftover MDF board from my previous projects so first I measured the length of the longest pencil I had to get the depth of the box and took the required measurements which you can see later in this video Here are the uh, rough designs which I made. Oh. I wanted to have 12 slots or holders in it, so I measured and uh, designed according to it. These are the sides, and this is the front view how it look gonna look like. And these are the top and bottom parts, and each. Uh, it has like three three dividers horizontal and vertical three pieces each so I cut the MDF board according to the sizes which I had required I want to tell you uh, one thing is like uh, I used a razor blade uh, like Zacto knife to cut the MDF board you can either do it with the saw blade but the problem with the saw blade is like it's gonna create a lot of dust it's gonna be a little messy Cutting with the Zacto knife might be taking long but it worth it. So here are the measurements which I made it according to it. I learned a couple of tricks while working with MDF and uh, this is the way we can cut the slots at the corners and attach it. It's the best way to do it. And the yellow and red lines are the slots. I spray painted black inside and outside. Here are the slots and uh, dividers which we need. This is a technique which I learned like uh, cut those slots into in between so that they can attach easily without any. There you go my assistant, my niece, Mahika. She is helping around just like holding the box in the right position until I assemble everything. You know what she gets, she gets bored very easy. <coughs> feeling about this now you can see the purpose of the sl slots which I made it into half just gonna take a couple of seconds to assemble and also we uh, there is no need of glue or anything and it gonna hold very strongly That's it. Ta da! Actually, I have to confess something. I measured exactly according to the shelf length and it was very, very tight fit. So I had to trim it down one inch from the bottom. And to hold it down, I put my weight onto the top. So while I was working on this, my sister-in-law said that uh, why can't you have a door to it? So I made a door with a couple of hinges attached to it and painted on top of it. So while I was painting on it, I thought okay let's do some designs on it and I did this organic design. And the red part which you're seeing now is my name and it's like R-A-A-J-S-D-E S I 
G N S Raj Designs. So I just incorporated into it and did this design. Ta-da! And by the way, to hold the door, I made with a leather strip attached with a couple of screws. Here, my assistant is back with the stationery. Lots of stationery. Lots and lots and lots of stationery. Now the hardest part. I need to sort it out. So, uh, when I looked at it, the door looks empty. So I wanted to do something on the door. Left over some resin from previous works and some leather so i made these slots and i made a ziplock uh, pouch on top of it finally after sorting out this is how it looks everything in place so here are something which i wanted to keep in the ziplocks a few things and uh, a pocket for the tape and my brushes On top of that, I made uh, two drawers where I can place more small things which I cannot be able to reach inside the slot. Let's see how it looks inside the shelf. There you go. This was the previous cluster which you looked at it, how it looks and it's pretty hard to pick it up and now this is how it looks now it's pretty easy to see and at the same time it's very beautiful and I can pick it up whatever things I want right away from the slots hope you guys like this video and the making please do support me by leaving a comment share and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more of these projects thank you so much for watching